Praise the Lord. 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 Yes. Praise yes. the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. All right. Amen. Jesus, amen. Sometimes, you know, we have these fights because I truly believe the devil himself knows where God wants to take us in life sometimes. Yes. He might not know everything, but he has an idea of where God wants to take us. Right. See, so you, you got to remember that the enemy was with the Lord. Praise the Lord. He was up there with him in heaven. So he has an idea of what God has planned for the entire human race. Praise the Lord. He knows he wants to take us to higher places, higher heights than him, to reign with him, praise the Lord. But as you can see, the fight that we get, and the reason we get this fight, is because we are born to be different. Yes. In this world, praise the Lord, a world full of darkness. You know, we have come into this world to be a light for this world, to lead so many others unto God. And to prove this to you, praise the Lord, I'm just going to turn my scripture, my Bible to 1 Samuel Chapter 16, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And the man that I chose to talk about is King David, as we already know about his story, praise the Lord. Now, 1 Samuel chapter 16 speaks on how Samuel was supposed to go, was sent by God to go anoint David, praise the Lord. This was before his time of becoming king, because the time has not yet come. But at that time, David was not known as king of Israel, praise the Lord. He wasn't known as the man who would lead Israel to many victories, praise the Lord. At this time, he wasn't known as the man who slew Goliath, praise the Lord. 
He was not known for the many great things that you have heard that he has done. Praise the Lord, but yet he was born to be different in this world at that time. Praise the Lord, even when Samuel went to anoint and find the king, Samuel had no, God didn't tell Samuel exactly who he was. Samuel had to listen to God because Samuel anointed seven people before he anointed. No, he did not anoint them. Praise the Lord. He asked God if these seven before he anointed David was them. And God specifically told him no. And when it came to the point when God, when it came to the point when God told Samuel to anoint David, they looked on his countenance. And you know what they say David was? They said he was ruddy. He was with all a beautiful countenance and a goodly look. So many people may overlook you because you might not dress a particular way. Many people may overlook you because you know succumb to the society standards. You may not do what the world do. Many people may overlook you because you don't dress the way that they do. But that's only because you are born to be different. Praise the Lord. You are born to be different in this world. Praise the Lord. Also, when you look at it too, David wasn't, a, David wasn't a man of structure, as strong and stand up as maybe his seven other brothers. But yet God has chosen him. And you know why God has chosen him? Because of his heart. Praise the Lord. But God said David has a heart like mine. Praise the Lord. And that's what we should all strive for, just to be like God. Especially in this world when things are going so bad. Things are getting wickeder and wickeder. The place is full of darkness, praise the Lord. So many people don't even know who God is. Yeah. Just like my sister said, there is nothing out there for you. Right. There is nothing out there for any of us. There is nothing we can gain in this world without God. And there's nothing worth it, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God says, seek for the things in heaven and not the things for of the earth, praise the Lord. We should seek for the things that are above, praise the Lord. There's nothing out there for us. There's nothing to attain without God. What is the purpose if you don't have God? What does it lead you? Vanity and vexation of spirit, Solomon says. That's all it is. You can gain the riches of this world. You can gain many things that might look pleasing to the eye. But the main thing is if you don't have God, you have nothing. You see, so many people in the world seek for these things. Money, riches, fame. And what are they left with? Nothing. They're left with nothing. So many, so many actors, so many stars you see committed suicide. Looking at how many riches they have and you wonder why. Because without God you have nothing. God is the key. Jesus is the key in this world today. He, the reason why he has brought each and every one of us into this world was to make a difference. Just like he made David's make a difference. It was, Jesus, it was David who led the children of Israel, praise the Lord, to many victories, praise the Lord. Even to the point where he had his son Solomon and he had to build a temple. All of that following down David's line was because David was different in this present time. Because remember before Israel had a king, they had King Saul. And you know what Saul's problem was? He wanted to be like the other nations. That was his problem. He wanted to be like the other nations. They, Saul didn't listen to God and God rejected him because of it. But here comes King David who was a different man who knew God before he even was anointed as king. Yeah. Praise the Lord. He knew that his faith and trust should be in God. He knew that God was the one where he should get his construction, his instructions from. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Right. And this is why David was be has become the, one of the greatest king of Israel. Praise the Lord. Because he was different. Praise the Lord. We can look at Joseph as well. Joseph had 11 brothers. 11 brothers Joseph had. And there was this one child, one boy that was different out of the 11. And God knew, and his father knew. And yet, even still, he came upon a fight. Because Joseph went through a lot. He had to be different. He went through a lot to the point where his own brothers sold him into Egypt, into slavery. This is the fight that sometimes you guys have to go through today. As being different, as Christians, as trying to strive to be like Christ. Sometimes we have to go through some things. But God promises to always be there. Because He is always there. Praise the Lord. He is always there. Praise the Lord. We shouldn't succumb to what the society believes we should be. And we shouldn't succumb to what society's norms is today. Because even nowadays, society has gotten worse. 
so many things you watch, you see on TV nowadays, and they try to make it seem like this is the norm. But God didn't ordain those things to be the norm. It wasn't ordained by God. So why should we succumb to that when we know we are called to be a peculiar people? Why when we are called to be chosen? We are chosen by God himself to be different. This is why we have to be different. We can't succumb and become and be conforming to what this world thinks is right. Because it's not right. Especially as young people. Things are worse for them nowadays than it was before. So many things are let loose into this world. So many doors are open that wasn't open before. And it's gotten worse. And it's harder for them. A lot of, a lot of them don't even know who God is or who to call when they're in trouble. A lot of them don't know that it's okay to be different because you know why? They might get bullied in school. They might laugh at you. They might ridicule you. But it's okay. It's okay to be different. It's okay to worship God. It's okay to serve Him. Praise the Lord. It's okay to serve the Lord. Praise the Lord. It's not easy, I know it's not easy, but sometimes you have to stand grounded, grounded, right, right. rooted and grounded in the Lord. We all seek to get to heaven, we all seek to reign with Him. Yes. And the only way we can reign with Him Glory. is to serve Him with our whole heart, our mind, and our soul. Glory. There's so many examples, many examples in the Bible of how different they were. I can go through, I have a list of names that can tell you how different were they were. Yeah. I can give you Jeremiah. I can give you Isaiah. I can give you so many names, even Esther. So many of them were born to be different and so are we. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise so are we. So don't look at the fight that you go through. Don't look at the trials and tribulations because you know no matter what, God will carry you through. Yes. And he's there with you. Praise the Lord. They put Joseph in jail for something that he did not even do. He spent years in jail. But you know why he came out of jail? Because God had a plan. And you know why he came out of jail? Because he made a difference in every aspect of his life. Everywhere he went, he made a difference. Everywhere he went, God allowed him to excel even in his current situation. He excelled. He was a slave, but he was one of the best slaves, they say. To the point where his master made him leader of all the others. Praise the Lord. He went into jail, but many of them knew Jesus as an interpreter of dreams. He interpreted many dreams, and that's how he got remembered to bring him out of, he bring him out of jail. Even all the way up to the second in command of Egypt, God has brought him. Just because he was different. Praise the Lord, saints. Just because we was different. And God has called all of us to be different. Especially the young people. Especially in this present time. We have to be different. God is good. We have to be. There's nothing out there. We have to be. What is there to accomplish without God? What is there to achieve without God? What is life without God? It's nothing. We rely on God so much in every aspect of our life, even to wake up in the morning. As we've always said, so many people didn't see today, but God has blessed us to see another day. Yes. And every new day that you see, it's another day to get it right with the Lord. Every new day you see, it's another day to start again. Every new day you see is a blessing. Praise the Lord. So choose God today. Choose to be different. Choose not to be like this world. Don't succumb to peer pressure. Don't succumb to what your friends say. Don't succumb to what TV says. Don't succumb to what they say on the news. What society say, even what the president says. 
Listen to God. Listen to God. You want to know what God says? It's right here in the Word. He tells you exactly how He wants you to be. How He want, wants you to walk. Everything you need is in here, here in the Word. How you should act. Every situation you might come against, He tells you, this is how you should be. And even to go even further, He tells you, nevertheless, I am here. He even says, I pray for thee. Praise the Lord, it's okay. You don't have to be like everyone else. Even if everyone else is following, be the one who doesn't. Praise the Lord. If you want to excel at life, if you want to reach to where God has, if you want to reach where God has for you, if you want to achieve everything that God has for you, to get anything that God has for you, be different. That's right. Praise the Lord. Be are born to be different. Praise the Lord. Your grace and mercy brought me through leaving this moment because of you. Oh Lord, Get your rest. Yes. Your rest will help you. Yes. 
trust me. Good rest will also bring down your blood, your blood pressure. Check it. If you get good rest, it helps to bring down your blood pressure. That's right, that's right. But you have to take it. We got to redeem the time for the days that are evil. And if we manage our time right, if we manage our time right, don't make no mistakes. You're not going to you're not going to be able to go to work every day early. Of course, this a day or two or so you'll be late. Circumstances. But I'm talking about the person who practice doing it. You're not going to come to church early every church morning or every church night. There are, there are, there are conditions that don't allow us to come on time. Condition. There are good conditions that don't allow us to come. But well, I'm just talking about the one that we practice and can do better and don't do it. We have to break the spell. Got to break the spell. The brother preached and he said, uh, be different. Make a difference. Right? We have to make a difference. Have to make a difference. Oh Lord, help us Jesus. And again, let us do all what we can do to make the Lord happy. I say it already. Let us do all what we can do to make the Lord happy. And if you make the Lord happy, I guarantee you that he's going to do for you that you don't even expect that he would do it. He is able to do exceeding. Abundantly. Abundantly. Above. Above. To his power that work. Yes, Lord. You can't even fathom, you can't even comprehend what God can do. But we have to we have to show ourselves that we really appreciate God. Hallelujah. We need it. We need it. Make a difference. Make a difference. Make a difference. Let us come to the place where difference. we do not make an excuse. That is not genuine. Excuse. Don't do it. God don't like that. And for the Roman saw it, that surely also read. So let us make a difference in everything that we do. In our coming to service, make a difference. Make a difference. Any service, make a difference. Let us try to be there as much as we can be there so we don't have to be all just coming one hour is all over. Spend one hour. Remember when, when we go to the, the natural work, we spend all 8, 10, 12 hours. Yeah? Make a difference with the Lord. And we will see what will happen in our lives. It's going to be great. Wonderful word, Mr. God. When it's going to really start, during the year, but we're going to see a lot of changes in 2024. My God, my Lord. Amen. A lot of changes. Saints, we got to get hungry, <laughs> as the elder would say. We got to get thirsty. We got to endure. That's the thing. We got to endure. He that endured to the end. We can't lollygag and lollygag and lollygag. <laughs> we got to be serious about God. <laughs>